Yeah. And they want more. Love letters, that's all. Awesome. We've got the space, haven't we? Oh, I don't know. Brian. Right. Brian? It's from the Alice and All we've been supplying. They're only a chain. <laughs> really? They're going to be needing five or six times what they've already been ordering from us. We'll have to get another polytunnel. Have a new van. And where are we? Small veg. We're going to have to move. <laughs> move? This is our home, Brian. We can't move. We need more space and a story. No, it's not. <laughs> What do you say to the uh, allegations that you're the new one-woman answer to comic relief? No comment. Will you go away? Mm, not until you tell us what you're up to. You mean you can't get your head around someone doing something just because they believe in it? I met children in Ghana who were desperate to learn, to get an education, but can't because there simply aren't any books or their parents don't have the money to send them to school. Sometimes you see things and you can't forget them and you're compelled to do whatever you can to help you asked actually Sarah about your Ghana talk I meant to tell you I won't be able to make tomorrow I've got to see some bloke about a roofing job it's quite a big contract I'm sorry it's all right you might not have got to see it anyway well, just come and join us for a drink later if you like Ooh. Size and videotape the soup. Speaking of which, we saw Celeste yesterday and she said you've been avoiding her for over a month. Why would that be? Oi! Any chance of you lifting a finger today, Marcus? You're messing Celeste about, Marcus. I'm not. Decide what you want and put her out of misery. No, you'll be fine. I know you're attached to it. Him. We can't keep him forever. Yeah, well, I would graze him if you'd left me any space. He's a Jersey bullock, Faith. They usually killed at birth. Can't sell him for meat. He's dangerous. We've got too much on to babysit him. What was your plan for world domination? I'm just saying... We've got to get things streamlined. I don't need bullocks with temper tantrums. No, neither do I. Seems all right, hasn't she? Me and Faith have been worried about her since my mum died. They were as thick as thieves, you know. Maybe the job kept her mind off it. Well done! You better start practicing your acceptance speech. Was I okay? I was very impressed. father bought this land back in 48. He passed it on to me because he thought I'd look after it. Fool he must have been. You didn't call foot and mouth. 
We're not responsible for sheep prices. You farmers have been up against it for years. It's not your fault. True. But not every farmer is selling out like me. Selling up? Do you still have to sell? Now you've been given clearance to restock? Just to be beaten again. I stood by while they slaughtered my flock I've been breeding for 25 years. On suspicion of a disease they didn't have. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got a couple turning up in 10 minutes. What did you come round for? It can wait. You got any coffee? I like them with their fur on. And the grand says I like them naked. A thousand pounds just for the hair. You girls must have your mohair sweaters. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say that again if I were you. Mohair? Curtains is looking at you. Which means he's just nominated himself to be first up. Ready now. Nothing to be afraid of. Come here. No, no, you don't. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, Come here. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Coons. I'll just have to take him a bit more by surprise next time. Mm. You put the kettle on, Bill. Right. Vals, vals, vals. Oh, won't be needing them. Sugar? Uh, no, no. Just put the water on some coffee and then hide it somewhere. What? <laughs> Makes the place smell more homely. It's a little tip I picked up when we were sending our place. Right, there we go. I'd better be off. Right, thanks, Faith. What was that favour? Oh, I need somewhere to graze Chucky during the day. Any chance one of your fields? Well, there's ten acres out there doing nothing. Help yourself. Thanks, Bill. Good luck. Hello. <coughs> Welcome to East Mill. Hello. Hi. Hi. Fat, Mo. Wish I was gonna win the Gymkhana, actually. Not looking quite yourself, Faith. I'm sure you feel up to helping out? Of course. It's just been a bit of a stressful morning. Brian's suddenly talking about moving. He wants to expand the business, which means bigger overheads. And more pressure on me to tell him I don't want to do the kids' holidays anymore. Still putting it off. Just waiting for the right moment. And on top of all that. I've just found out that Bill's going to sell his farm. Bill as well? Oh, afraid so. I was hoping the compensation he got for foot and mouth would allow him to restock. Well, nothing unusual, I suppose. Like lots of farmers, the money's probably just gone into a gaping great hole of debt. Good afternoon, Never mind. Hi, yes. Could I start with you? This is your table and telephone? Okay. Right. Okay, we really appreciate you volunteering. No problem. And a couple oh, mornings okay. a week, isn't it? The pyres may have burned out, and the camera's gone, but there are still a lot of farmers out there who need help. Oh, right on cue. Hello, Rural Network Line, can I help you? Oh, Marcus. Hello. Have you got a minute? Sit down. Oh. 
feel like I'm being watched. Mums. Hideous, aren't they? Did you want anything in particular? Yeah. Um, no, not really. It's all right. I know why you're here. All right? I knew things were bad, but... Rural network line, can I help you? Hello? Hello? Keep talking. I just want to hear a human voice. It's all right. You take your time, there's no hurry. Enough with that woman that took them nude photos, are you? What about that lady Mandy? No. There is no one else then? I'm just glad you've been honest with me. Right. Show myself out. See you around, partner. See ya. behaved. Seemed to stay away from the irrigation work. I meant the people that came to see the farm. Oh, I, I think they were just window shoppers. Said it didn't look the same as in the photos. There'll be others. Got you this. It's a throw. No? Throw it over the sofa and brighten it up a bit. Thanks. Bill, if you ever want to talk... What about? Anything. That's what you city folk do, isn't it? Sometimes it helps. Don't you worry about me, Faith. I'm down but not out. And once I get this... What you call it? End of the house? A throw. Yeah, I'll have the place shifted in no time. <laughs> it's beautiful. These are ready to be picked. Better get Marcus. You're not going anywhere. I want to talk to you. Oh, talk to me as I go. No, this is important. The only thing you seem to care about these days is Brian Addis. Are you the only person on the planet? Only I thought I saw a few more in Oakhampton. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? You've got total tunnel vision, Brian. When was the last time you saw Bill? Well, I was meant to be meeting him last week, but I was a bit... Mm, busy. Yeah. He wants to talk to you. He's going to sell the farm. Oh. Yes. I had no idea things were that bad. He says he's got no option. I'll pop round later. See if there's anything I can do to help. Well, make sure you do. What's that? No idea. <laughs> Difficult to tell. Could be bloat. Something he's eaten. Do you mind me asking why I've allowed a Jersey Bullock to reach this age? That you should cull at birth? I know. 
sentimental reasons, I'm afraid. It was the first good thing that happened to us when we got here, so we didn't have the heart to put him down. I'm going to take some blood and then run some tests. Should I bury him? No, don't move him until I get the test results back. I'll get them processed as quickly as I can. Bird from Hannington Hall on the phone. Said they want to see me this evening. Must be keen to get things moving as soon as possible. Desperate even. Do you think we're ready to start supplying that quantity? Gonna have to be. As soon as I sign a contract, that's it. Got no time for messing about with goats. Fair enough. Um, I've, uh, I've been called into a meeting at the hotel this evening. But you'll still be able to come to my talk. Yeah, well, I, I'd love to, but... But what? I don't think I can. It's all right. I'll still be there to help. And Mandy's coming, so it doesn't matter about Dad. Thanks very much. Obviously, I'll be there too. <laughs> it's what they call a woman's touch. Just another one of those estate agent's tricks. <clears throat> there we are. What are you all dressed up for, anyway? Looks like I'm going to a funeral, don't I? So, Mr Thompson, what type of work are you looking for? Well, I'm not sure, really. Well, what work have you done before? Sheep farming. Right. So we could try a search under farming, then, or outdoor work? Just done sheep, really. Right. What skills would you say you had? Well, there's lambing and shearing, um, dagging and drenching. Lots of nice holes, too. I was actually looking for something a bit more general than that. Can you think of anything? Not really. Right. Well, let's try a search, then, shall we? Any particular type of sheep? Portland. Lovely. Josie Bullock died of anthrax. Anthrax? An acute disease, but rare these days. We get the odd suspected case every year. This is my first confirmed case. We're going to have to incinerate immediately. Right. And we'll need soil samples from the rest of the farm. Try and find out where your bullock picked it up. Are those the little white phones, do you? Uh, yeah, sure, sir. Good. Sooner the better. <laughs> Bill. Didn't recognise you. You're right. Come sit down. Come on. I could turn my hand to something new. It turns out I can't do bugger all. What does a farmer do when he can't farm anymore, Brian? Yeah, Faith said you were selling up. But you can still farm. Get yourself a smaller place, start again. Start again? Maybe if I was younger. I used to have all sorts of big ideas. But these last four years, I've had that many blows. You, you start wondering if it's personal. How did 
chalky get this anthrax? Is it from other animals? It's usually from contaminated feed or grazing on infected areas. Is it dangerous? Should I quarantine the farm? Can we get it? Well, it's very unlikely. It would have to be passed to you via Chucky's body fluids. And luckily, he didn't bleed from any orifice. So I don't think there's any cause for concern. It's all very positive. Is it? I would advise that you consider vaccination of the rest of your livestock as a precaution. And in the meantime, we'll get all your soil and feed analysed. OK. It's very important that we isolate the source as soon as possible. Anthrax isn't airborne, therefore it's not nearly as infectious as foot and mouth. But the last thing that local farmers need is something like this on their hands. All right, Mole. Got enough on your plate? <laughs> One of all spread, Faith. You've excelled yourself. Not hungry? No, not really. You gonna tell us how you got on, then? Oh! Pretty successful, considering I went totally unprepared. Now it's to twist him round my little finger. Can I see her? How she got on? Yeah, I was just about to. I was heckled by Devon's answer to Adolf Hitler and then found my boyfriend kissing his backside. Yeah, well, you can't expect everyone to share your passion, love. You weren't there. It was unbelievable that anyone could think like that. So narrow-minded and selfish. That fascist just couldn't stand me pointing out what's really going on. Just saying. Well, don't. I saw people in Ghana who could barely feed themselves, and do you know what they did? They invited me into their home and offered me food. Calm down, Sarah. Do not tell me to calm down! This makes me feel sick. Sarah! Hello? Oh, Mr. Edwards, you're working late, aren't you? What, another viewing tonight? Well, I'll have to have a tidy round, but... Yeah, by all means, send them over to have a look. Right, bye. All the samples showed up negative. Well, that's good, isn't it? Not really. It means we haven't located a source yet. If anthrax carcasses are disposed of incorrectly, the spores can hang around for years. Then, if the land is disturbed or dug up for any reason, we're going to have to do a more extensive sampling. Anywhere that bullock might have been prior to his death. Right. I'm going to take some more samples, and I'd like you to cast your mind back to Chucky's movements. And if you can remember anything... Of course. If we were going to sell the farm, how would it affect the value of the land? I'm afraid that with the perceived danger of anthrax, the farm would be left virtually worthless. Oh, Faith! I didn't hear you. Will you stay? No, no, I can't. Bill, have you got a minute? I need to talk to you about something. This is Mrs Townsend. Sheila. It's a wonderful place here, isn't it? She's hoping to open a riding school. Well, I've come here, so uh, perhaps you should be the first one to speak. Say what? Well, apology would be nice. Fitzmaurice could have kept me in work. But I don't relish the thought of being unemployed for the next six months. Are you sure you're not taking this thing too seriously? Save me. Well, what is wrong with talking about our relationship all of a sudden? There are more important things in the world, Alex. Like what? Some bun fight at your sister's school? Yes, actually. At the moment, that is more important to me. Fine. Have it your own way. I just can't tell him. You're going to have to. There might not even be anthrax on his farm. Well, 
all that worry for nothing. Mm. It could just be the feed. It wouldn't suddenly appear on Bill's farm, would it? Depends what the farmer before him did with it. They're not all as honest as Bill. Someone might just have buried some contaminated carcasses on that bit of land. I need to find that out first, and I... I've got to prove that the anthrax isn't on Bill's land. I feel like a total Judas. Got it? So the vet takes this sample without asking too many questions. Yes, Mr Ellis. We'd like you to come over to the hall tomorrow just to congratulate you on being such a genius. Sounds just like your Lady Warren impression. Yeah, all right. So she said we got the contract then? Well, not in so many words, no. But I don't mind going over. Half an hour out of my days, nothing compared to all the business we'll be getting. Remember, it's my Jim Carner tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd forget. But, but because I've got my speech ready and everything, you've got to be there. Where do you get all your confidence from, Poppet? I wonder. <laughs> the opposite of all right. The anthrax that killed Chucky. It's from Bill's land. It's gonna lose everything. I thought you said it was in the feed. Wishful thinking. All this going on behind my back. You never told me anything. Well, I was hoping I wouldn't have to. And they only found this out after you grazed Chucky there? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Are you trying to blame me? No, I was just asking. Well, thank you for your support, my darling husband. You've just made the most stressful day of my life much, much worse. Oh, look. Hold on. Bill? Faith! Excellent. <laughs> I needed someone to celebrate with. I've only gone and sold this bugger and got myself a job at the Jim Carter with the animals all in the same day. That Sheila Townsend put an offer in straight away. Aren't you going to say congratulations or something? I'm sorry, Bill. I've got some bad news. There's anthrax on your land. Chucky died after I grazed him in one of your fields. They've tested the soil. I didn't want to say anything to I knew for sure. Someone did a cover-up job. Buried a load of anthrax-infected carcasses years ago. The Ministry know? No. I wanted to tell you first. Finished, don't I? Should have known better than to think things would have turned out all right. Bloody fool that I am. I'm so sorry, Bill.
Are we keeping you from something, Mr. Addis? Uh, no, not at all, no, no. <laughs> uh, last call for the under 13s jumping, please. Could all competitors make their way to the ring? Look, um, I think we both said some things we didn't mean the other day. I don't want to fall out over this. Do you see that? That is what I was doing over there. Starting up the fundraising. I know you could buy a couple of books or something. Yeah. And there was me thinking you just wanted to get your kid off. Yeah. Yeah, well, there was that and all. Be friends. I don't know, he's, he's gone off to front. He's, um, six he's bought a house over there. I was hoping they wouldn't be this good. Moore's got her heart set on winning. And a lovely round there from number 111. Next up is number 102, Trojan. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, Lord, your backs. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. It's your How'd you get on? Tell you later. Trojan really like to talk to you. Ponies can't talk, Dad. I'm never getting on that stupid Trojan again. Oh, that's a pity. It's just the best child handler competition's coming up, and I think Molly's got a good chance. Oh, really? Oh, what a shame. I mean, if uh, she's too scared to get back on Trojan. Yeah. I'm not scared of anything. But I haven't got the right clothes on, on Mum. It doesn't matter about the clothes, Mum. Just do your best. Look, um... I know it hurts a bit, don't it, getting your pride on, but you know the best thing is? You've got to get straight back in there and show them how brilliant you are, all right? All right. Mwah. Good, good. Good girl. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. extra points for fancy dress, you know. Hello, Rural Network Line. Hello. Perfect, pop it. Come on, let's get the horses sorted and change for the fair. Hungry? Mm. Come on in. Put some of the celebrate. Really 
know that. Spoiler girl. You can have them with onions as well, if you like. <laughs> I take it you've got the contract, then? That's what we're celebrating. Uh, no, I didn't get a contract. And that's what we're celebrating. Sorry? Well, they said it was because the farm was too small, but uh, I think it might have been my famous pig-headed arrogance that didn't help much. So, glad I didn't get it. I needed knocking off my eye holes. Made me realise how much I've started taking things for granted a bit. You and the kids, Bill. So, uh, this is to see if you'll consider forgiving me. Of course I forgive you. I always forgive you. Now I need you to forgive me. You. And that's why I feel so bad about it. And you know, I'm not good at admitting defeat. It's the children's holidays, brother. I just don't think I can make them work. It's the responsibility, the time. I know the money's useful. I knew they'd been a bit difficult. I thought you were enjoying them. So you want to cancel the summer bookings? Yeah. I want to do something, and I need to do something. I want to be a part of things. Well, there is something. I mean, judging by my success or lack of it, adding to all, perhaps I could do with someone to uh, deal with stuff like that. You could manage things. Deal with the customers. You offered me a job? Subject to terms and conditions. Well, I want a clothing allowance and a company car and a four weeks paid holiday and... It might be an idea to get your foot in the door before you start making demands on a boss. I'm not sure I like the idea of you being my boss. I'll be a very nice boss. How nice. Take this down, Miss Jones. I'll never forget the sight of poor Bill picking up that rubbish today. Shouting our mouth off about politics, making a fuss. I'm not. I've told you this is really important to me. I'm not some fluffy airhead bimbo, Alex, and if that's what you want, then... You what? Then you're with the wrong girl. Thank you. Molly, come and see what we got for Bill. Molly! I said that Bill left a few hours ago. Right. Let's call it on the way home, then. I think Bill will be really pleased. 
I hope so. Everyone loves Would he? Must have popped out somewhere. Mm. Shall we? Yeah. Come on, Mom. Let's get on with it. We've got a lot to do here. Yeah. I'll, I'll take some of these. Okay. Right, have you got it? Yeah. Come on in. There we are. Trade you in for another model and all. Promises are 